ladies and gentlemen, is how you are welcomed to my Shannon National Orphanage. <laughs> In the country of Kenya, many kids are orphans because their parents have died of a disease called HIV AIDS. These kids grow up with no parents, nowhere to stay, and no one to feed them. Maisha Orphanage feeds more than 200 kids every day and also gives many kids a safe place to stay. The Maisha Orphanage cares for many orphans in Kenya, but with your help, they can feed and shelter even more. Maisha is currently building a community center with a dining hall and dorm bedrooms for the orphans. Here are some kids from Maisha to tell you how badly this new building is needed. You come here for the feeding program every day, yes? Yeah. And so can you tell me what it is like here every day? Like here, yeah, we, we come here every day and we eat here on dust and on the sun. We are getting some diseases like cholera and uh, pupils, children can, can die when they are still young, so they will not they will not uh, reach their their hopes when they when they grow up because yeah hard. because the diseases they can get when everything is always outside like this yeah. and so what can you say about the dining hall we're trying to build there so it's very good when when you will you will build dining hall there it's very good so we will eat in We'll not eat in sun and also we'll not eat in that in that in that. So we'll meet our hopes when we we grow up. We're here at the Maisha compound and this Ibrahim, this is your house, right? Your room? Yeah. Can you can you go in and show me? Okay, so this used to be used for a kitchen. But this is where you're sleeping now. Yes. Okay. So this is where you stay, but how many boys are sleeping in here? Is it seven? Yeah, we seven. Seven boys are sleeping in here. Yeah. With this bed and with the everything else. So how many sleep on this bed? This one. Five on the bed? Yeah, Four. we are sleeping five here and two there. Okay, so five here on the bed. Yeah. And two boys there behind. It's Ibrahim is our drummer. Yeah. So we got him this drum last time we were here. You know, this drummer during night time when I'm sleeping, I just dream that I'm playing drums. And when I woke up, I just start to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, thank you. So this is this is where they're staying, and once we get that building built, they won't have to stay in here anymore. Um, it's easy to watch things on television about Africa and just change the channel because we don't want to deal with that. Um, but coming here and really seeing it firsthand, like you can't deny that once you've seen it. And this community center is really the difference between life and death. Not For some people it's for the physical, but some people it's just for the spiritual who have never had um, a life of encouragement or a life of just being nurtured. And here they get that with schooling and with health and with their spiritual sense. So it's, it's really between the difference between life and death. We are challenging you to help us build the Maisha Community Center in Kenya. We need 5,000 bricks for the building, and we think you can raise $5,000 to pay for those bricks. Last year, a 10-year-old student named Aurel Bloomer wanted to help out at Maisha, and he raised $2,000 to build a toilet there. $2,000 raised by one student. If he can do that, imagine what each and every one of you could do. Hi, where my jungles? Young and free. Hi, where my jungles? Warriors, we. Hi, where my jungles? Stand together. So Fimba Pambini. I'll take it on my jungles. I ain't got on my jungles.